Hello everyone. I hope you've managed to dig yourselves out from this latest bit of snow. Lately, I've been thinking about the word easy. At the moment, I don't like that word very much. We might hear the phrase, oh, that will be no problem. That's easy. We'll just, or that's easy. You just have to. After one of those moments recently, I found myself thinking, what do you mean? Nothing is easy. Then a bit later, well, maybe I'm wrong. Is anything easy? I don't know. But just to keep our hopes up at this early stage of the devotion, let's allow for the possibility that something out there might be easy. Perception matters. The great pianist of the first half of the 20th century, Arthur Schnabel, spoke of the Mozart piano sonatas being too easy for children and too difficult for artists. They aren't really too easy for children, but they're not technically challenging for players with some skill. But, Schnabel said, the sonatas are full of musical puzzles. And as a commentator continues, the grace and elegance with which the sonatas are imbued force the performer to make a number of artistic decisions and then expose the quality and character of those decisions for all to immediately judge. In real life, we're approaching one year of pandemic time. When we began our hiatus from in-person worship, we expected to be back together by Easter, last year. My kids expected a normal summer, last summer. Now I wish I had a better sense of what this summer might look like. Not so easy. Technically speaking, though, life isn't actually supposed to be easy. Life is full of musical puzzles. Continuing to follow the Mozart analogy, if we want to help bring the grace and elegance of the world into greater view, we might start with thinking about what matters and make acting in those areas second nature. What I understand matters most to God includes loving, serving, helping, caring, forgiving, enjoying, thanking. When we allow those things to matter most to us, we are living the life of discipleship, followers of Jesus. With practice, while we walk with each other walking with God, it might even start to feel easy. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, O weary one, lay down your head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was so weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give. The living water, thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus, and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in him. I heard the voice of Jesus say, I am this dark world's light. Look unto me, your morn shall rise, and all your day be bright. I looked to Jesus, and I found in him my star, my sun. And in that light of life I'll walk till traveling days are done. Amen. Peace be with you. Have a wonderful day.